case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The North Dakota Supreme Court heard the case Moen v. Thomas in 2001, which addressed the principle that parties can alter the terms of a lease agreement if both parties consent, even if they initially had differing intentions regarding the lease terms. The dispute revolved around a lease agreement between Lori Thomas and the J.V. Thomas Family Trust for a family ranch. Lori claimed that an oral agreement with the trustees granted her a seven-year lease with an option to purchase. However, the trial court discovered evidence supporting the existence of a one-year lease that began on January 1, 1997, and ended on December 31, 1997. The trust agreement permitted Jerry Thomas, Lori's husband and son of J.V. Thomas, to lease the property for agricultural purposes, while other family members could only use it for recreational activities. Following Jerry's death, Lori and their daughters appealed the judgment that granted the trust exclusive possession of the property and awarded damages for its use and occupation. The appeals court upheld the trial court's decision, affirming the year-to-year -year lease between Jerry and the trustees. Ultimately, the court sustained the trial court's judgment, dismissing Lori's claims of a seven-year lease and upholding the decision to quiet title, award $19,000 in damages, and reject Lori's counterclaim due to insufficient evidence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.